Oh god, it's on the wrong camera. There we go, free camera, that's better. My mic is way too close. Oh, Jackass Tim wins it. What's up, guys? And no, you're not, you're not first. Just because you see your name first, that's because the chat ahead of you doesn't load. So, good old Mr. Tim won it. So, everyone say shout out to Tim. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing too well on the skateboard here, guys, today. I was, I was practicing a little bit earlier and I was doing so much better. There we go. Let's get some tricks in here. Come on, down. Perfect. Let's do it again. I love this build. It's so much fun. It's like one of the builds that's actually great to play with. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Right. Anyways, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. That's a little bit loud, I think. Uh, there we go. How's that? All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Lax Kid? How's it going? Banter Squad, what's up, buddy? Tim, Jaden, how's it going, guys? You guys having a good day? Nice little Friday today. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So um, a lot of people were talking after I made this skateboard video because I liked it. Now, I, okay, so the hover destroyer, I wanna talk about that a little bit. Um, it is almost done. That video should be out probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the way the hover destroyer came out. So just so you guys know, just in case, you know, if you think I've forgotten about it, I haven't. And then a lot of people were asking too about the drone carrier. Um, I did completely redo that. It's like also in the works. What the heck is going on with my hair here? Holy cow. Um, it's also in the works, but uh, it's it's taken some time. So that, that one's going to be out a little bit later. It's, it's a lot more complicated and uh, the lag is really causing issues. Too many big builds, guys. Too many big builds. I've, I've been just, you know, making too many big builds. It's been a problem. So... Today we're gonna make a hover, or not a hover scooter, sorry, just a, a trick scooter. So I've got this, you know, trick skateboard. I like it, a lot of fun. But we're gonna we're gonna switch up here and make a uh, a trick scooter. So I gotta check out what kind of wheels there are in the mod pack. I don't really use mods much. Um, obviously, this skateboard it uses all the micro thrusters. You can see they're all underneath here. Just a ton of micro thrusters, and that's what gives you all the controls. So with the scooter, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, but I haven't looked at what kind of wheels there are yet, because the scooter is really just two big wheels. But I'm thinking the same kind of width as the skateboard and then a handlebar. Uh, but the scooter is going to have some different tricking capabilities. So it's got to have, it's got to have like, you know, because, you know, when you, you're on a skateboard, you just kind of rotate. But when you're on a scooter, the stem kind of stays straight and you rotate around the stem, right? So I want to, I want to make that kind of like, you see, so you can do like tail whips and stuff, but I really don't know how to do that. Um, this is a hoverboard. I know a lot of people were asking me to like make a hoverboard. My face cam isn't in sync. It should be in sync. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think it's in sync. Is it? I don't know. If it's not, I, I don't know what to do to fix that. Um, so this is a hoverboard. I, I know a lot of people were asking about that. It's not very good though. It needs it needs a lot of tuning. I just kind of made it up the same thing. The problem with the hoverboard is because there's no wheels. You can see it's it's we got to turn that off. But it's really easy to to roll it. So like if we go up the hill here, for example, and then we you know like press four. First of all, it's got a lot less power, so that's like a problem number one. And then yeah, it's just it needs a lot of work. So we're just we're just not gonna do that what come on get what get get what get stop get. see it's very difficult to control it's terrible it's really terrible i mean you can turn off the hover thrusters but i don't, I don't know if it's because the board is too small or you know whatever make a good fidget spinner okay so i i don't understand what's the deal with the fidget spinner fad craze thing going on right now everyone's like all up in these fidget spinners and like you know you can make a fidget spinner in scrap mechanic but i i, I do have to ask what's the point you should check out one of the caves really quick. Well, I think uh, I think there's a cave on this map, actually. Let me see if I got a cool car here. Yeah. You guys want to see a cool car that no one's seen yet? Check this out. What makes it cool is it's got some gnarly suspension. Like, it's got double... So it's got double control bar... I don't know what you call it. Double wishbone suspension or whatever. But it, basically, it's just... It's wicked. All right. 
I think there's a cave around. Oh, it's accepted flip there. Perfect. I think there's a cave on this map somewhere. Let's just uh, get a little closer. Make a hover castle, please. That would actually be pretty cool. So I think over here is a cave uh, before we get into the scooter. I do want to build a trick scooter, though, but I guess, you know, we'll just procrastinate because I really haven't thought about it too much yet. All right, I think, I think, um, no, that's not a cave. This is like an old mountain. This is standard. Um, is there a cave on this one, maybe? Can I make a bat cave? See, everyone's like, Luop did a bat cave. I guess you'd have to use like modded terrain blocks to make it. Everyone wants a bat cave. I think, is there a cave here? Yeah, there is. So here's a cave. There's a, oh, it's a small one though. Very small one. See, there's a bunch of different ones. That's that's a tiny little cave. There is a bigger cave. Um, I don't think I have that piece of terrain though on this map. Like you don't control what, what terrain's on the map. And this is the thing, everyone's like, oh, well they're saying they're coming up with a terrain editor. I really hope they, uh, they come up with a terrain editor that lets us create the terrain features, not just spawn them. Because if they make a terrain editor that lets you just pick which features spawn where, you know, that's pretty cool, but I mean, I'd like to make custom jumps and custom tracks and stuff, and I just flip this thing. What? What? What is going on with my mouse? But I mean, I don't know. They, they haven't really talked too much about how they're going to do the terrain editor. I mean, they've shown screenshots of theirs, but they, they have the ability to, like, manipulate the terrain in individual points, and I would love to see that, but... And yeah, this car, I haven't actually made a video on it yet. I just made this car, like, a, a while ago. Um, and I didn't really decide what to do with it in a video, but it's got wicked suspension. Like, you can see there, the suspension uses a, it's a double bar, right? So, basically, it just means the wheel always stays parallel to the, or perpendicular to the ground, parallel to itself. But the suspension just bounces over everything, so it's really, really smooth to drive. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the half pipe here and start building. Yeah, I don't think there's a, a cave on this map, guys. Yeah, I know, iBallistic Squid uh, has showcased a bunch of my creations over the time I've been doing Scrap Mechanic. He's basically, he showed all of our creations at some point in time. Um, he showed my, it was funny, he showed my RC Radar Rover, and he didn't even know it was Radar, even though it clearly says Radar. So he's like, why are there all these sensors here, and, and what's all this crap, and it's just ridiculous. You're in school for engineering and you love it? It's, it's pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. I went to school for engineering. All right, let's, we got to figure out what kind of wheels we've got here. So let's, um, cause we're building the scooter. So the skateboard, I don't even know what the width of the skateboard is. Let's just spawn one here. Skateboard. So what's the width on this guy? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's 11. So I'm thinking the scooter should be about the same width. So if it's 11, it's going to be longer though than the skateboard, I think maybe. But about the same width. Can I try and make a working phone? You mean like like Morse code? That's the only thing you could really do is Morse code. Because you can... I thought about that too. And there is a way to do it where you could have like a, a wire that you can string along the map. Um, like with, with logic blocks. And like you'd have to connect them and stuff. And uh, you could do like um, a wire like that. And then you could have like a, a signal generator that sends like Morse code pulses down the wire. But that's the only real way you could do it. You couldn't do anything else. So... So there's some really big wheels here. Nine by three, what's that look like? That's still pretty small. I need like a really, really big wheel, but like not a very wide wheel. 13 by five, like that's, see now it's getting too wide. See, that's the problem. 11 by, no, see that's even width. Well, maybe we make the scooter, no, cause you can't, you can't do the steering, that's right. 15 by 7. That's a massive. I don't know. Maybe maybe make the scooter wheels out of that. Does it? How the heck does that even connect up? This is gonna be ridiculous. Oh. I mean that would be a cool. That'd be massive. Do you guys think? Do you guys think that's too big? Thanks, Zender X. Love you too, buddy. I, 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 yeah. You have to stand up in seven hours? What do you mean stand up? Do you mean get up? Oh, you're going to the University of California. That's cool. 11 by 4. Is there an 11? Yeah, but 11 by 4, that means you have to make the whole thing even width, which means you have to do some weird steering stuff. 19 by 9. That's just going to be ridiculous. 
I don't even... Yeah, oh my goodness. It'd be hilarious, though. I, I think, you know what? I think 15 by... What is this? 3 by 1? That's useless. I mean, there's probably a, a, another wheel pack, isn't there? But I, I don't really want to use multiple mod packs here. I think 15 by 7. That would just make it... Like, I mean, if we put a wheel there... I'm just going to try and visualize this here real quick. So if we put a wheel there... That can, of course, turn. And then we put, like, another wheel... <laughs> it would need to be even, even wider apart, wouldn't it? It would have to be, like, like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I can totally see that. You already liked and subscribed. Thank you so much. It's too big? You think that's too big? I mean, it, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? It just, it's not going to be much... Uh, what if we go, that's 15 by 7, what if we go, see, but there's no by 7s here in the middle. I need more mod wheels, don't I? I mean, 9 by 3. Oh yeah, I guess you could, you could do 9 by 3s, actually. That would look okay. What do you guys think? You think 9 by 3s? Oh, I guess I'll go on TeamSpeak here, so Moombo can come in and chat as well. If he's here. Hold on. There we go. Channel switched. Too small? 9 by 3 is too small? Did I just begin streaming? I just began streaming like 10 minutes ago, 11 minutes ago. Um, Do you think 9 by 3 is too small? But then the only other way to go up is like 11 by 6, but I don't want to make it even width. Because 11 by 6 sucks. Because even width is terrible. Hmm. Or 13 by 5. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So, uh, 9x3. 9x3? I'm going 9x3, guys. You know what? That's that's what's going to happen. Because, I mean, the skateboard wheels are by 5. Like, they're they're 5 wide, right? I think they're like the... Yeah, like, they're these guys here. The 5x3s. Yeah. So screw it. We're going to go 9 by 3 because then I'll, that'll give me some space to make something, you know, that's smaller. Because the scooter might, it's probably not going to be proportional to the skateboard. But I want to make it kind of like, you know, I was playing with Cosmo with these skateboards. He said, you know, it reminds me of like a finger skateboard almost. And I kind of want to make the scooter like a finger scooter. So it, it really gives you the chance to, to do it. But yeah, I might make the base a little bit smaller than the skateboard. Oh, of course, there's going to be thrusters. It's, the whole thing's going to be thruster powered again. So let's just, let's just start up here with some kind of a base so it's gonna need to be like this is one two three four five six seven eight nine that's nine wide you know let's try a nine wide to start and see how that looks and then if it gets if it looks too terrible then we'll, we'll change it a little bit here Okay, and then we're gonna, this is a terrible spot to build because the slope just screws everything up. Hold on, let's just build that way. There we go. So we need it to be, you know, have some space. That's why I make it too high because then you can see all the thrusters are one, so they all take up the bottom, but you can have an uninterrupted deck. So if you wanted to paint, you know, whatever you want on this deck here, you can do that. That's kind of the real reason. How will the scooter stay stable? Like, uh, I'm not going to use suspension glitches. I think I'm just going to have a set of roll thrusters that'll keep it stable. If that makes any sense. So I'm not going to... Whoa, what? Okay. That was cool. Hi guys, sorry, um... Hey! Sorry, the stream, that was weird. My game crashed, like, completely. Like, I just got a nice... No, I'm, I'm back. If, if the stream's not hit refresh... It's it's back, guys. No, it's it's back. Don't, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't know what happened. That was, that was really weird. The, the game just crashed and gave me this, like, memory error and said failed to create dump file, and it crashed everything. Crashed my game, crashed my recording software. So, like, my internet's fine. Everything's okay. It just, it just, like, I think it was a scrap mechanic thing that killed everything. 
So, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, yeah, that kind of sucked. So, like, most scooters, they have these kind of, like, back plates almost. I think I'm going to make it out of, like, concrete here. And just go like this. And then go like this. Because I don't think the wheel needs suspension per se. Just... I don't know how far back I have to actually build this, to be honest. Oh, that's that's perfect. But that needs to be lower, for sure. So, like, this. Yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. Hopefully, hopefully the stream doesn't do that again. If it does, I mean, I'll reboot it. So, if I don't say goodbye, just assume that something screwed up. And I, I will be coming back. Alright, just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Good old scrap mechanic. Yeah, that'll that'll be pretty decent, right? And then we'll just we'll just have to taper this a little bit to make it look less silly. I mean, we'll worry about some aesthetic stuff in a little bit, but that that should be good. I like that. Do do do. Where I hate all the stuff you get in a mod pack. I mean, it's cool. It just makes it impossible to find the blocks you're looking for. These are not the blocks you're looking for. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, see, that's gonna look cool, but, and then I'm gonna actually just cut this back. What the? You know what Scrap Mechanic really needs, guys? A mirror mode. You know how convenient it would be to be able to place blocks on one side and have them just duplicate on the other side? I mean, most building games have... Well, I, actually, that's not true. Minecraft doesn't have anything like that. It would just be super convenient. Your girlfriend thinks my videos are cool. That's awesome. My girlfriend watches some of my videos and then makes fun of me. I mean, not really. She just kind of... She laughs at how dorky I am. She's like, you're such a nerd, and you're so... You're such a loser, and, you know... But, I mean, you know, she loves me, so whatever. It works out. But she does make fun of how how ridiculous because she knows she sees me all the time right so you guys only see me in my videos so you only see me when you know i've 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 prepared myself to talk on on youtube and blah 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 and all that stuff right but uh when my girlfriend sees me she sees me all the time so she sees me you know when i wake up in the morning and how stupid i am and all this can i do a segue that's a cool idea maybe i will do a segue sometime too guys i want to do this trick scooter obviously because it would be sweet but um, a segue is another good idea. I think I will do that for, for the next stream. By the way, um, just so you guys know, my birthday is on Sunday. And so because my birthday is on Sunday, I'm probably going to stream on Sunday because, you know, I got nothing better to do with my birthday except stream for you guys because that's really what I like to do. So we're going to do it. Do you think the scooter's a little big? No, I think it's, it's good. Yeah? No? You think it's- I think it's good. With the 9x3 wheels, I mean, let's- let's put a seat down so I can just see how... How bad this is. No, I think that's- that's awesome. And then put the front- front thing on it? The front wheel thing? I don't know what it's called. The front fork? But yeah, I think- I think that's what I'm gonna do for my birthday is- is actually do another stream for you guys, because that would be kind of fun. So on on uh, on Sunday I'll probably stream again, cause I might as well, cause that'll be fun. Um, hoverboard. So I, I was showing that at the beginning of the stream, but uh, I did I did play around with making a hoverboard, and uh, currently it sucks a lot. So that's you know where that's at right now. All right, so we're gonna build up here, and I kind of want this fork to like. Like, you know, like, um, do something useful. Like, I think I have to do this. Because I want it to, like, bend forward a bit. But I think, you know what, I think I'm just going to do that at a 45. Because it's going to look stupid any other way. So it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then just like that. Yeah, and just, you know, we're just going to 45 this up. Exactly. Just like that. And then we're going to go like that. And then like that. And then that's probably way too far. Or is it? Yeah, something like that. Perfect. 
Use a standing ski for the skateboard. I, I, okay. I, I, I had thought about that, and I was actually Durf. I showed Durf my skateboard after um, a couple days ago. He was like, I was just hanging out with him, and uh, he just joined my game. We were just chatting about life and stuff, and um, the, uh, I, I showed him the standing seat. Hold on. Here we go. Let's get this standing seat here. And the, there was only one problem I had with the standing seat, which was on the skateboard, when you're going forwards, you need to be able to tell which way forwards is. And it's easy when you have a seat like this because the seat kind of, you know, tells you which direction. But if I put the standing seat on it, you can't really tell um, which way forwards is unless you're, you know, able to understand the regular direction and, and uh, switch direction on a skateboard. All right, this is going to be like that. And then just have this go to a fork. See, I'm thinking... Ugh, nose is itchy. I'm thinking for, like, a pipe... Like, I'm thinking we do the, the stem like this, like, out of a pipe piece. Is that too high up? That might be too high up. But then I gotta taper these walls in a little bit more. Like this. Yeah, I like that. That's what we're gonna do. Because it's cool. Something like that. Yeah, perfect. Why not? I don't know. Looks alright, I think. Maybe? Sort of? Somebody's gonna be like, yo, it sucks. Delete your channel. Never play Scry Mechanic again. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? Yay, nay. Trying out the train update right now is awesome. Are they so I'm still in the test branch. Have they actually rolled out the regular update now? Is it is it all part of like one update? Shout out, please. Shout out to the Animal King. What's up, buddy? Ben Turley, you'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna wait and pause the entire stream for a minute. We're just gonna sit here, everybody. No, I'm I'm kidding. I'm gonna keep building, but can I move my face cam to the other side? Yeah, I can. Um is it is it better on that side? I don't know. I can do that for I'd, I'd have to stop my stream. You would die without my videos. Okay, that's that's a little bit extreme. Let's let's try not to. Is, is, so face cam's always better on that side. You guys are saying? Can I say your name? A a Adonis Mustafa. I hope I said that right. Super Smokester. What's up, buddy? Cheese for life. Hello. Shout out to you, Jaden. Make it do a tail whip. Yeah, that's what I that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that you can rotate about this center section here and uh, be able to do a ton of stuff. Hey, how old am I? I am 27, actually. I am an old geezer. So here's the thing. Actually, you know what? I need a axis that goes straight through. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Actually, no, it's not. Okay. So we need, yeah, you know what? I'm going to need to do this out of like, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. So this is what's going to have to happen. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking out loud here, guys, but this is the thing. The axis on below has to attach the axis above because you want the handlebars and the thing to move at the same rotation. So um, there's a way around that. We'll, we'll deal with that here in a sec. Nine by three, that's what we need. Okay. So we need to come... Oh, this doesn't even need to be that big. We need to go down like this. Oh, come on. Stupid con. Doing all sorts of stupid stuff. Is that at the same height? No, that one's one lower. Crap. It's a good thing this is actually just the perfect height that it needs to be. I'm not putting suspension on it because... Yeah, but she's going to interfere here, so we got to just shave this back a little bit. That looks sweet. I, I can't believe that actually fits. That's amazing. Calculated, guys. 100% calculated. Actually, it's not really at all, but um, this is going to be... Is that... That might actually be just perfect, won't it? All right, then we'll do that, and then like that, and then like that. Right, and then to get this to go around, we just do something like this. So you go like this, out... And then come back in. And then we go like this. And then we go like that. And then if I 
if I can place the seat. Because I want when you turn the seat, it's got to turn the wheel, right? The front wheel is going to be an actual, like, steering wheel. Like, it's going to uh, respond to however you turn. It's not going to be, like, on controllers or anything. Although, crap. How are you going to be able to do a tail whip, then? Nope, has to be done with jet thrusters then. Never mind, because to be able to do a tail whip, and that's going to interfere with the tail whip. Dang it. I, crap. That's going to be a problem. It's not going to be able to do a tail whip with that. Because that'll keep the top and the bottom spinning the same way, but it won't tail whip. Oh, blah, 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 blah. How do I do it? How do I make it tail whip? Why do I call myself an idiot and stupid all the time? Well, because I, I, I make stupid decisions. Like, okay, so this is going to work. Watch, this is a really cool motorbike now, right? Like, you know, it's a really big motorbike, and I can put this here, and I have, like, no turning capability because it interferes with that. But, you know, I could make this steer and everything else if we, uh, we open this up. Let's do this again. I'll show you what the problem is, guys. See, I want to be able to make it do a tail whip. And I was thinking before I did this stream is it's like the one thing I have to be able to do on a trick scooter is tail whip. Spin the, the handlebars 100% around. Right? But you can't... Is that still... Are you serious? That's still clipping? That's so dumb. What kind of a collision box is that? All right, hold on. Let's do this. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right. See, what? You still can't turn more? Is it? Oh, it's this part. It's probably causing a collision, to be perfectly honest. Right? So, see that? So, there we go. We got perfect turning capability. But if you wanted to tail whip, this bar would eventually smack that. See what I'm saying? See where the problem comes in? And if they're not connected, then they're never going to move the same way. So you know what I'm saying? What about a controller glitch? You mean like, eh. I don't really want a controller glitch through it, though. Ah! You guys are smart, though. You gave me the idea. You don't need a controller glitch. Suspension, uh... Suspension has no collision. That's all you need to do. So, if we attach the suspension to here... Then we just need to make sure that we have... Actually, I can probably even bring this in even closer. And then we can just do that. Whoops. Dude. Yeah. No. Is that... You're welded to the tire? Are you serious? No, don't weld it. There we go. And put this on 20 or like 10, so it's nice and rigid. And then all we need to do is make sure we have enough space here to not collide. This should work out actually really well. I think. I hope. And then we just do this and bring this back up. I think this will work. And then we just put thrusters on it to turn. So when you turn, it just activates some thrusters and problem solved, right? So we're to sync. You, that's what I mean. You can't really sync both bearings unless you have them connected. But this should work. So we're just going to take that off there. And then we'll put the uh, steering to a little controller sway bar guy or not controller sway bar sensor bar here so hold on so this is like this this will work guys this will work i promise i hope okay and then we'll just put this with wood again right and then if we have so just we're just going to test it with some thrusters i'll eventually put them up in like the handle but we should be able to do something like this. So we need forward, forward, and backwards and backwards. And then we'll just crank all these up to max. I hope this is enough to, to do it. It should be. I mean, if we... Okay, and then so when we turn one way, this one here and this one here will activate. And then we turn the other way, these two will activate. And that should 
spin it, but because there's equal numbers. So the thing is, you don't want to have one thruster because then you'll push, you'll move forward. But if you have a second one, it'll pivot. And you want it to pivot so you get the proper, the proper stuff. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if this will work. Oh, goodness, it launched me. Hmm. That did, that does nothing. Crap. This is good. We're in, we're in, we're doing good here, guys. Let me, let me see where the problem lies. So the problem is the top is welded to something and it shouldn't be. Okay, perfect. So I, I didn't, I didn't do anything right on the top side. So the bottom is good. I just, I just screwed up the entire top. Awesome. Okay, so let's do this again. Let's, let's try this again. Just break this, break this, break this. Uh, guys, I, I told you, I'm, I'm terrible at this game. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I have a thousand hours and like... Alright. Let's try this again. You like that. You like that. You like that. You like that. And then let's go like this and like this. Okay. And then let's put the suspension. Let's get rid of the concrete block. Let's put another concrete block. Let's weld this to that concrete block. Let's set this to 10. Okay, perfect. And then facing this way facing this way and these two are facing the opposite ways like so and like so and then we crank these up to max and we crank this up to max don't worry guys we got this we got this this might let us do a tail whip and if this lets us do a tail whip that's all i care about well as long as it you know what all we need to do is make sure that we can spin that axis like a full 360 and then we're good That's what I'm talking about. That's going to be a sweet tail whip. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Because the suspension can move through the concrete block, so it's perfect. Okay, Robocraft. I'm going to talk about Robocraft again. Uh, the one reason I don't play Robocraft is because um, I don't believe in uh, games where if you pay more money, you win. And that's basically what Robocraft has become. I used to play Robocraft when it first came out. It was awesome. But now it's like you can spend like thousands of dollars on that game and people will still beat you if they have more money. So... No, I know that's a bar spin, but the point is... Um, I'm going to be able to use this, the fact that this mechanism will let me spin 360, I can use these thrusters to steer it, but it's still technically, you see, it's a free-floating bearing, right? You can see that? So it free floats? But yeah, I know I know it's a bar spin. Don't worry about it, guys. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to be sweet. Alright, let's give it some forward thrust, shall we? So the nice thing about this, this scooter is it, uh, it doesn't have to have... A reverse thruster on the on the uh, it doesn't have to have that reverser thing that I put on the skateboard because you know it's a scooter so the thrust is all just forward and that's it you don't you don't really have a backwards thrust on a scooter any any backwards movement is just gonna be because you're free floating backwards so let's try with just you know four on max that should be plenty the skateboard has four on max as well they just flip it's two in the front and two in the back so I'm hoping this should be enough Oh yeah, so we can we can drive now. Oh oh god, we can't we can't. Oh okay, oh, perfect. The turning is a bit of a struggle here. <laughs> that's amazing. It just. Oh, I have it. Oh, I have it backwards. Okay, so that's that's problem number one. Problem number one is this needs to be flipped. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's still it's very difficult to turn this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. Awesome. Okay, so it's gonna need some sort of a spring mechanism to put it back to center. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna do that because it's like, oh, okay, this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be a lot tougher of a build than I think. This back wheel also needs to move down one. Because you can see there, it's it's front, the front's too high. It needs to be a little bit higher in the back as well. I wanna give it lots of ground clearance. Yeah, no, I know it's got turning problems. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna put the self balancer on it first, and then I think we'll try and balance it after that because I feel like the self balancer is gonna change the turning dynamic a bit. So let's just uh, let's just do this first and put this tire back on here. Uh, nine by three, right? Is it nine by three? Is perfect. 
All right, we're gonna do that, like so, and then just like this. And then like that, okay. And then we'll do this. Just to give it some more like, you know, look. I don't know, something that doesn't look as stupid. It looks like some weird um, thing. I think, you know what, I think it almost needs to be shaved off the top. No, that's, that looks dumb. Hold on, like this, and like this. And then almost like shave it down here to be like that. I think that looks looks a little bit better. And then if we finish the concrete here, I, I mean, this is all stupid stuff. It doesn't really matter to be honest. I don't really care how the aesthetics of this thing looks so much as, you know, does it work well? That looks okay. I mean, I should have a brake on it, but it's a trick scooter. Trick scooters don't need brakes. <laughs> I looked up scooter on Scrap Mechanic and could not find a scooter. Now Khan's making a scooter. Oh my God, Khan, best person ever. Thank you so much. Um, well, you guys actually suggested it. Last week I did the, when I did the trick skateboard video, that was one of the comments was make a scooter. And then of course there was the, um, make the hoverboard, which is gonna happen. This is actually gonna be sweet. I don't know how I'm gonna do the centering mechanism, but at least it can do that spin. That is very convenient that suspension has no collision because otherwise this would not work at all. But that, that's just hilariously awesome. All right, so suspension is the direction uh, of travel, I guess, but uh, yeah, let's do some self-balancing stuff. All right, so the self-balancing we'll just put like right here in the middle. I'm just gonna paint a line across here so we can tell where it needs to go. And I think I'm just gonna go like, just demolish into that a little bit. And go like this and like that. Because I want these, you want the controller um, for the self-balancing sensors to be on an angle. And the reason why, as I've explained before, but the wider the angle gives your um, vehicle more of, let's say, an effective area. So the sensor distance, like see right now, you know, they're very close together. But if I put those on a 45 degree angle, then they become, uh, your vehicle becomes effectively as wide as the sensor angle is. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. You see what I'm saying? So look, so they're on 45 degrees now. So now my vehicle, according to Scrap Mechanic, is basically this wide. So it's, I can't, I can't even attach a block to it. But it would be basically from that to the ground and that to the ground, which makes it wider than it actually is, right? So then we'll adjust this one. Be like, what, six? Six is off. Seven is off. Eight is on. Okay, so seven, we'll try them at sevens. Seven's still on for that one, okay, perfect. And then we just need to put some thrusters on it. So we're just gonna do this real quick. And we're gonna have, uh, probably only need like one set on either side to roll this whole thing. So I don't know how this is gonna change though when I put the, the whole um, handlebar mechanism on. Cause that, that might make the whole weight of this a little bit different, which might screw everything up, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go down like this and then up like up. That, I think that's in every direction. Okay, and then, so the way this works is if this sensor activates, I need to go up on this side and down on this side. If this sensor activates, it's down on this and up on that. So there you go, now it'll, now it'll stay balanced. <laughs> that bar spinning mechanism is a pain in the butt. But you can see there, it's staying balanced on the hill, right? So it's not, it doesn't have issues with, you know, not falling over now. But uh, the bar spin definitely is a little bit too much. It's too extreme, which makes it impossible to steer. Because it just, it spins rather than, than than letting you control it. So we gotta, we're gonna have to fix that a little bit. But that might change. Let's build the handlebars up and then see if that changes it. It might make it move slower once there's a handlebar on it. Bam, 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 bam. Like I think I think that'll do. That's gonna be pretty cool to be honest. It's gonna be a cool scooter. Okay, so there's one thing I wanna do because it's gonna bother me if I don't. Which is uh I wanna fix the curve on this. 
Where the heck is this piece? There we go. So you can see there, it, it'll balance itself no problem. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we'll just do this like that. So the wood kind of acts as like a brace so you don't have to like reconnect everything. Oh, okay. It's just, it's kind of freaking out a little bit. We're going to have to, I might have to adjust the balancing a little bit. It's probably too aggressive. Oh, there we go. It finally balanced itself out. There we go. See, it works, but then it, it wants to hit a tree. Um, yeah, it needs. I need to deal with the. Okay, let's build the bars. What's up, Scotty Gaber? How's it going? I don't do shoutouts in videos. I only do shoutouts in streams. Videos are videos. I mean, unless unless you know people are in my video. But what's up, nice narwhal? It's a wicked name. Where's the uh, the not so nice narwhal? Did I really... Is that one tire different from the other? They're... Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, let's put some bars on this then, shall we? Oh, yeah. This, this might actually be easier if this is not moving. Let's put it on the lift. Okay, so we'll go up here. Bars, 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 bars. Large pipe. Like, that's what I'm, I'm thinking, just literally large pipe all the way up. I don't think I need to put any controls in the bars, because the controls... Ah, maybe. We'll see. I don't think I have to, though. Like, is that the right height, I think? Yeah, probably. Probably about that. This isn't going to be like a huge scooter kind of deal. It's going to be sort of a... I don't know. It's, a, it's like a, a... Trying to make it look like a finger scooter almost, right? Can you have a shadow? Um, how do I make a shadow? What do I have that I can make a shadow with? Uh, another hat? Sh shadow? Shadow? Sh where's my light even coming from? I don't even know. Shadow. Higher? You think it should be higher than that? Two diff bearings for steering. What do you mean two different bearings for steering? There are two bearings. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. But the bearings have to be free spinning or else you can't you can't do stuff properly. You're saying one, uh, like maybe one higher on that. I don't know. I like it lower. I, I think it looks more compact one lower as much as I, I think it should be. I know real scooter proportions, but um, you know, this is a scrap mechanic. I don't want to be able to do a lot of like tight, compact tricks and not have to worry about, about hitting stuff. So we're going to do that. Use the end lock. You think you guys honestly think it's better if that if it's higher like that? You guys vote in the chat right now. What do you think? Higher or lower? Higher? Like one extra piece or no? One extra piece or no extra piece? Do you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? One extra piece, no extra piece, one extra piece, no extra piece, no, no, high, higher, higher. That's three for high. Yes, no, yes, no, higher, lower, lower. I can't even tell. I don't care. Perfect. The only honest response in that entire thing. All right, you guys are all saying higher. Fine, we're gonna go higher. Oh, I keep falling off. I think, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, you know, fine. We'll do it like that. And then we'll, uh, I got to paint that because that red stem looks ugly. I should probably tilt the stem back too because a real scooter, this stem is tilted back slightly, isn't it? Like they're on a bit of an angle towards the back, aren't they? Can we, can we not swear in my chat? Thanks. That'd be cool.
Yeah, I gotta angle that back then. Yeah, you guys are so useful. Y'all vote 10 times each, exactly. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we're just gonna extend this out. No angle? Just keep it straight. Oh yeah, the seat. I can move the seat. I haven't. Uh, it'll. I haven't done in the final position on the seat yet. I'm just more worried about getting everything else working first. All right, so we're gonna go up like this. And then just like that. Give it some sweet grips. And by sweet grips, I mean let's give it tires for grips. Where are the tires? Where are you tires? Perfect. Like six? Six tires for a grip? Maybe seven? Holy emoticons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, perfect. All right, now it now it needs more roll thrusters. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem because it's not gonna be it's not gonna be strong enough to hold up its own weight now. All right, so we're gonna have to put more power on the roll. Or on the, uh, the stability thrusters. I don't know if that'll even be enough, but let's let's try it with some more power first. Yeah, no, we gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna do anything. Let's see. I mean, it's looking like a scooter. That's kind of cool. Let's move you closer to the front. That's a good idea. So let's do that. that reverse that doesn't even have enough power to turn itself now that's good actually because it's going to make it a lot better to um to drive with so we can turn that up a little bit there yeah see now it's now it's more gradual turning which is good that's what that's what we want actually Thank you, Hank. My good old mod is in the chat, guys. Make sure you guys uh, don't swear, because my mod will just ban you. You know, keep it keep it family friendly, guys. Family friendly, just like where you need to be on YouTube. See, but now, with the height of the handlebars, it almost seems okay. I'm gonna trim one little one little thing off each side there, one tire. Make the seat on top of the handlebars. I just feel like I, I thought about that originally when I started this. And then I thought, you know, the problem with having the seat on top of the handlebars is you're not going to be able to the, get into the seat. You know what I mean? Like, how are you? You're going to have to, like, jump and, and get in. It's just going to be a pain in the butt. Hmm. Now see, like now I feel like the scooter body needs to be longer. Like doesn't it seem like that? It seems like the body's too narrow or too short. So the height of the handlebars. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, see no, it doesn't have any amount of power to, to keep itself up now because of the weight of those handlebars. So definitely gonna need more roll. I don't think, I don't know if I'll be able to do it with this, but we'll see if we can do it with just the thrusters on the bottom here. But I might need to put thrusters up on the actual handlebar itself. Um, where's that small thruster at? Come on, buddy. Where are ya? There we go. Like, I mean, maybe we'll do... Like this? Another couple... The hard part is gonna be making this thing trick, too. Because then, like, you know, you, just when you make it drive, then you gotta make it do all the tricks. So that's the other thing, right? Alright, so there's that. There's that. There's that. So... Again, this one activates the up on this side and the down on that side. And this one activates the up on this side and the down on this side. Mm. 
No, nah, see, not enough. Holy cow. Are those... What's the weight on these guys? Maybe... Do I have to swap these out? That's probably the issue. These large pipes are probably too stinking heavy. What the frick? I'm so... I'm so happy with Scrap Mechanic. I'm so happy, guys. It's just so... It's so terrible. It literally, I got the exact same error again. Failed to, failed to create dump file and then a memory index and then it just crashes. And it's like, thanks, guys. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Yeah. It's... it's Sorry, guys. It's not... I promise you, it's it's not my internet or anything like that. It's literally Scrap Mechanic just crashing the game and, as a result, crashing everything. It crashes the game, crashes my video recording software. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. What's up, three-dimensional stream... Or three-dimensional guy? Yeah, failed to save dump file XD. It's, like, the worst, like, thing ever. Holy cow, $10 super chat from Mixout. 221 mix up you you have donated so much to my channel over the last couple months uh, but this is my fourth or fifth super chat i've lost track used to do scooter tricks love the stream you're doing good whoa the game crashed yeah i know the game is just fantastic i honestly don't know why maybe uh let's try you know let's go delete some of these other vehicles i've got on the map right now i don't think that'll make any difference but let's just let's just do it for now I mean, maybe these three over here are causing the issue i don't know I mean, it shouldn't be. There, there's no lag being caused by them. But let's just let's just get rid of them, anyways. Maybe that'll just help. I don't know. Delete that. Delete that. Delete this. All right. And then this is my hoverboard, which sucks right now. So I need to I need to work on that a lot more. I literally took the skateboard, put some hovering stuff on it, so you can see it hovers. I mean, it's not bad. It rotates okay, but it it does. The problem is when you try and do like this kind of stuff right it's not it's not very good for any of that and then of course the other issue is you know it means basically just a flying carpet at this point it's so it's not it's not really it's not really very good so i gotta i gotta work on that more but that'll that'll my own time for that one needs a lot more balance it's doge what's up buddy yeah, guys, sorry my game crashed. Um, you know, we lose as soon as as soon as soon my game crashes. I lose 16 people in the stream, but that's okay. Uh, I think these large pipes are too heavy, though. I think that's the problem. Large pipe long, medium weight. Okay, they're only medium weight. Hmm, that's interesting. I might have to do like put something extra in here to help help tip this up is that that's back one yeah so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some extra thrusters in here that are also triggered by the the stabilization sensors although to be honest i need to change this because the same thrusters i use for stability you're gonna have to have manual control over to force the roll. So if you want to purposely go against the stabilizer, you don't want the stabilizer to fight you, right? So it needs to automatically activate, but it also needs to be able to not activate when you want it not to. You know, this is gonna be a lot easier if you just delete these. They were set to seven, so I remember that much. All right, so let's do this. Like that, and like that. Seven. Off. Seven off. Okay, let's put this on a lift because I'm I don't want to deal with it falling over. Okay, so then we need ore gates. Uh we'll put them here. Put one like this and one like this. I don't really care what direction they're facing, they're gonna be underneath anyways. Okay, and so this one will be if you're leaning to the right, which means you have to put thrust up there, thrust up there, thrust down over here and thrust down over here and we also need to go thrust on here and thrust on here and this one's the opposite so thrust on there thrust on here this one goes like this one goes like this this one goes like that something like that to that and something like that to that oh yeah right and then we have to hook these in so this this needs to be hooked into that and this needs to be hooked into that Okay, so if I like lean, 
right? So that, that should activate some stability stuff. Still not enough, really. Are you serious? Is that really... Man, this is, this is ridiculous, the amount of thrust this is going to take. Like, actually going to take a ridiculous amount of thrust. Because these stupid pipes are too heavy. I might, you know what, I'm going to honestly have to change out this pipe stem. Because it's just way too heavy. It's just, that's the problem. It's giving it too much weight on that, that top end. So, I like these handlebars. I'd like to keep them. Maybe we'll just swap this out a little bit. I mean, tires aren't exactly light either, are they? That's the problem. Everything's like stupid heavy. What's what's the weight of a tire? It's probably ridiculous. Heavy weight. Well, that's the problem. I got freaking tires up there, which just weigh a ton. All right, so we got to change this now. Yeah, guys, if there's only 18 likes, make sure you, you hit that like button. I really liked that, that look, though, with the tires on the top, but I, it's not going to work. We'll use small tanks for handlebars. That'll work. And then for the stems up, I mean, ultralight flat block. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try it with the pipes. Maybe, maybe I just, maybe we'll just try it with the pipes again because I really like the look of the pipe. And then just instead of the tires, we'll just use barrels and maybe that'll make the difference. I don't know. We'll see. Tries again. So one, two, three, four, and then I think it was five. Is that right? I think it was like that. Yeah, it was like five. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll just go back up here on the express elevator. Good old Minecraft style of climbing. That would be another cool thing Scrap Mechanic could add. Would be ability to like you know fly around when you're in creative mode, rather than having to you know constantly build your way up to stuff. I should really talk to the devs about that one, actually, because that would be a useful feature. All right, then we'll do this. So, like, I'm thinking, you know, son of a piece of garbage. God. All right, fine. We'll do this the other way. Are you serious? How can I not? It's just not my day, guys. Just not my day. Get up here. Perfect. All right, then we'll do this, and then like, like I don't like those handlebars as much because the, the tires looked more like an actual like you know rubber grip. But I think these are going to be a billion times lighter, which is just going to make everything so much easier. But I am much disappointed. Delete that. Okay. So now does it? Still not enough. Are you serious? Man, that's going to be a problem. I'm literally not going to have enough thrusters to rotate this thing. Because the problem is you can't just put thrusters up on the, the handlebars. Because then, you know, like, let's say I put a thruster on the side here and I link it into the stabilizer. Well, when the handlebars are rotated, a thruster over here is not going to do anything to help stabilize it, right? Yeah, I know, I know. You're saying put thrusters on the top. But that's what I'm saying. It won't work. Because as soon as you, it'll work like, for example, when it's static like this, but as soon as the handlebars rotate, the thrusters have to stay with the body. So you'd have to put like a pillar, you'd have to put like a pillar on this thing, right? So if you put a pillar up here like this, that doesn't rotate with it, and you put thrusters on this pillar, then yeah, it would help stabilize it like crazy. Like for example, let's just, let's just do the example here. So right, like we put one up here and one up here. I'm not actually going to keep it like this, but I'm saying this is what you have to do. And this one is if you're falling over that way, so you just do this. And this one's if you're falling over that way, so it's like this, right? So here's here's the thing. This is what you need. See, because now that helps push it back. And it's got enough leverage to do that. Almost has enough leverage to do that. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's closer. It still needs more. Like, it would need... Ugh, God, this is a terrible build. I mean, not really terrible. It's just a terribly difficult. I mean, okay, you know what? We might have to just use suspension glitches. 
that probably would have been the smart thing to do from day one actually to be perfectly honest but let's just let's just i don't really want to use suspension glitches but let's throw suspension glitches underneath this thing and see what happens because that's really what we need because thrusters are, are good but i think i think the suspension glitch is just gonna just gonna crush it it won't even care Here's the theory anyways. Uh, okay, so we need bearings. And that. Okay, so let's just put a groove here. They'll just have to be offset slightly, but that won't that won't make too much of a difference. So I'll put one here like this. And one here like that. Like that. And then boom. I know a bunch of people are going to be like, oh, I don't want suspension glitches. Yeah, I don't really either, to be honest, because everything works better with thrusters and not with suspension glitches. But um, if I have to do it to keep the thing stable, I might just have to do it to keep it stable. Because the suspension glitch is going to give it unlimited force. So it's no matter what, it'll it'll do something. It's whether or not it's going to be strong enough is another question. Now, it's this rotates like this. So bearing, if your bearing's here and you push into it, it's gonna keep rolling it. So I think it's, it should just be this way, right? It should be opposite connected, I think. Still not, are you serious? Well, that's just frustrating as all heck, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. That sucks. That's, that's, uh... That's a royal pain in the butt. I got. I. I. I'm. I'm. I'm at a loss. I like. I don't want to put a pillar up. There's no way for me to control. The position of the thrusters as the bar rotates. The bar looks cool. Hmm. I think the only thing I'm going to be able to do is change the weight of that bar or put like a load of thrusters down here. Like a load, like I need I need a ridiculous number of thrusters down here to do anything. Well, we're going to get rid of the suspension glitch because obviously that doesn't help. That's very unfortunate, guys. Very, very unfortunate. More thrusters. Yeah, I know. I, uh, like, I don't know. Let's let's just let's just try with a ridiculous number of additional thrusters. But I honestly don't think this is gonna do anything anymore. I think I think I it's just too tall. I think I need to either lighten the weight of that bar again to make it like ultra light, or just not have it at all. But we'll see how this goes. I haven't even I haven't even gotten to like all the other trick controls yet. We're just trying to make the stupid thing drive even. Okay, so this goes up, up, and down and down, and up and up and down and down. I don't I don't know. I, I honestly don't even know if this is gonna work. It, it might I might just have to lighten that bar up. Oh, is that enough? I mean, it still it still loses it pretty hard. All right, let's try let's try a few more. Let's try a few more. Maybe maybe another back of, of four down here. This is gonna be ridiculous. The thing's gonna have so much roll control. It's gonna be awesome. Which means when you're in midair, you're gonna be able to make the thing do sideways flips like nobody's business. But whatever. All right, let's try it again. Just a couple more. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Okay, I'm I'm confident. And then all we really need to do is add. 
uh, manual bar spin control, which isn't a big deal. Actually, you already have that. That's the, the steering. So we've got manual bar spin control. We need manual tail whip control. That's it. We need to be able to manually flip the tail in and out and then manually pitch up and down. And I think it's good to go. Use gyros. You can't really use gyros in that small of an area, to be honest. Will angling thrusters help? Not really. Ugh. Put stabilization in the handles. Eh. Oh, boy. Hey, Moombo, I'm on TeamSpeak, if you'd like. Yeah, the problem is, like I was saying, though, is because the handlebars rotate, right? Let's say I have a tilt that tilts it up. As soon as you rotate the handlebars, let's say, to the left, like this, now that tilt is not tilting it up anymore. It's tilting it forward, right? So everything that's not, you know what I mean? Like, that changes everything. It needs to be able to... This is going to be sweet, though, when it works. I, it, we're, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're going to need more forward thrust, too. Oh, okay. Somebody left. Whoops. That was bad. This We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. This is actually... I'm actually pretty, pretty uh, confident with this now. We're going to put thrusters there. Give me additional forward. Hello, user. Oh, hello, user. How are you doing today? Yeah, just fine and dandy. This is so a lot you're more. Just gonna add a, you're going to just add a... You might as well just line each side with thrusters. Oh, I know. It's going to be great. This thing's going to be basically... Um, better, is, as awesome as the trick skateboard. Oh, it better be, because you might as well, you have to basically isolate the board as its own piece of equipment, you know? Well, that's And the, the handlebars the, come along for the, the ride. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, this is basically like the skateboard, except um, the handlebars are like this extra weight that you've got on the top, right? It's the same reason why when people are like, oh, add a rider to the skateboard, it doesn't work that easily, because adding a rider to the skateboard puts a ton of weight on top of the skateboard that you don't want. Now, the other thing is, when you want to make something that can trick you have to make sure that every thruster that goes up on one side is countered by a downward thruster on the other side. Otherwise, it won't rotate on the spot, right? It'll just start flinging yeah, itself just start up. it'll flying away. Right, so that's why this is difficult, because every one thruster has a second one on the other side. See, it's not even enough there. Holy cow. Going on, Jaden. All right, you can build. I'll focus on the chat here. Hey, chat. How's it going, everybody? I'm just getting my butt kicked. This is This is ridiculous. I don't think Khan has a Discord, but he is on it. I'm on what? Discord? Yeah, I have a Discord profile. Yeah. I don't have a Discord server. But you server. don't have the, the whole channel thing or whatever it is? No, I'm, I'm not cool enough for that, guys. Hello, Bryce. How's it going? Scotty Gamer, what it? When is Scramaganic full release? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> nice. Good that's, question. That's, that's a good joke. <laughs> This Bill seems Bob, to be sweet, up? man. I'm going to be able to do tail whips and stuff, too. Like, I oh, can't, I'm excited to see it. I can't wait for that. The finished product. Yeah. But the stupid handlebars are just too stupid freaking heavy. <laughs> I might I might literally have to swap them out for some of the ultralight blocks. I don't yeah. want to because, like, the pipe looks more like a handlebar. And there's no, like, round ultralight block, you know? It would have to be a square ultralight block, which would look silly, but... Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's just add more thrusters here and see what happens. Hello, it's Doge. Moonbo next to Khan, you are my favorite. Ah, oh, that's all right. You know what? Khan is amazing too, isn't he? Sometimes. Yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> only, only, only about ten percent of the time. Yeah, ten percent, maybe. Maybe. Someone was like, why do you call yourself an idiot like, earlier in the stream? And I'm like, um, I don't know. Did you just see what I did? Like, <laughs> for the number of hours we have playing this game, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes. 
meh, like when we make stupid mistakes, you know? But that's just the nature of scrap mechanic at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of true. There's only so much you can do without making a mistake. It's like yeah. anything that requires a hint of creativity. All right, we got this. Hi, Matthew, and I like Moonbow more. Oh, how Ooh, nice of you. Ouch. Oh. Well, guess you're getting nah. banned from the stream. <laughs> no, both of us. Just yeah. both of us. Like, boom, we're both gone. Yeah, see ya. Put a gyro on the handle. See, okay, everyone who keeps asking about a gyro on the handlebars, there's there's one obvious problem with it. And everyone's going to be like, oh, you're, they're like, he's not listening to us. I'm like, no, I am listening. You just can't do it. Because, let me put it this way. If there's a gyro on the handlebars that tilts them left and right when it's straight lined up like this, that's fine. But what happens when I rotate the handlebars 90 degrees? Because I can do that. So now my handlebars are 90 degrees. Now my gyro is no longer sideways left and right. Now it's forwards and back. Like that doesn't that doesn't work. See what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So that's that's the problem, guys. That's why, so I understand what everyone's saying. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just saying there's no way that'll work. He's ignoring you. Okay. I'm just joking. All right, that goes like that. That goes All like right. that. All right, back to the chat. Okay, Kyle wants to know, how was your day? How was your day? My day's, my day's been pretty good. Yeah? Uh, I was out late last night, so I uh, kind of slept in a lot today, but that's good. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Just, you know, having a good time. All right, we're gonna do that. Then this one goes like this. I mean, this is a, uh, like, I don't know. I hope this works. <laughs> You're gonna have crazy roll control though. That's for sure. That's pretty much what you need. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, cause you but can- But you want, you want total stability in the roll too, because if you, uh, cause if you want to be able to do some whips, it has to be flat too, you know? Uh, yeah, that st might be stability, stability in the roll might not, might not happen. Being able to do some tail whips will be pretty sweet. No, Adam, I do not really have Discord. I mean, I, I am on Discord. Every now and then I pop into Scrapman's Discord, but other than that, I'm pretty much a ghost there. Well, the good news is I've made a flying scooter. That's at least something. Um. Yes, Mr. Blocks, I do win. What? No, Phil, Bob, you, nobody banned me. Only Khan can ban me. I think. Nice! I got caught up in a tree. I'm literally stuck in a tree. <laughs> I... I... I am... This is a problem. I can't get out of the tree. Oh, Khan. Please, please acknowledge me, noob to the tube. Spelled acknowledge wrong, though. It's, uh, A-C. Knowledge. So, uh, I can't get out of the tree here. I'm... Oh, oh, okay. Perfect. Someone's telling me you should build... Get a lift car so you don't have to build up. What does that mean? What do you mean, build up? Oh, like What's like uh, like a lift work platform. Is it... But what would you need it for? Just the handlebars? You can build. But like, like, you know, so you can build without having to, you know... Why is your, are your, is your front wheels like, okay, wait, there's probably, you should, oh, you know what you should do with this work? Can you put suspension glitch in only the handlebars for them to turn? Yeah, I can. It uses thrusters to turn right now. How does that, I feel like you shouldn't do that. Why? Because it, it's going to make you fly and stuff. No, they're counteracting. Net force equals zero. Don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> the problem, the problem right now is, is here's the thing. Like, if you want to keep the the scooter up automatically, you need a boatload of thrusters. The problem is that that kind of makes it do weird swaying stuff when you don't want it to. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Does that make sense? I like, think so. I, yeah. I almost need it to be like completely just manual controlled stability. Like, if you want to balance it, you have to do it manually. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Let's 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 try that. Let's just completely shut off these sensors for let's just remove them both actually. Like I I literally think that's what I'm going to need to do. Because I feel like, you know, you're going to want to be able to do turns and stuff without it being 
sideways, and it's going to interfere with the tricking. And on top of that, like, I mean, if you want to ride the thing, like, crazy, then you got to, you know, do... I mean, it's it like kinda, crazy. Like crazy. Well, like, it, it makes it more of, like, the human challenge than it is the, you know... Like, I don't want to... The skateboard doesn't have a button that you can press that goes, like, do a 360, right? Nope. Kind of the same thing I'm thinking here. Eh, moon man. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try this. But then, see, that's the problem, is that it's, it's super uh, hyper-aggressive. My steering needs more power, too. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. This... This, this manual control is a lot better. I think that's good. But I definitely need to to do more stuff. Man, I've had failed to create dump file twice now in the stream, eh? Really? Did you see that? Yeah, twice. It it, it, it it doesn't just crash everything. It crashes my recording software too. Yeah. Like it just crashes I think, everything. Um, this new this latest update has caused a few issues. For it sure. Seems like it. Well, I one of my worlds is completely destroyed now. What do you mean completely destroyed? Like you can't load it? Well, well, if you saw my tweets, um, my one of my creations when I spawned the world, it was like spawned halfway into the ground, which was giving me like one FPS. That's great. So I couldn't get to it to um, put it on a lift or anything. So I had to just abandon the world. That sucks. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, I, I mean, there was nothing in the world of significance that wasn't already saved on my lift, at least, so. But it's very unfortunate, because it was a terrain world that I had found, you know? Okay, well. Use my banner to Khan's face for a day? Oh my god. The good news is I can, I can do, um not good tricks all right this this we're getting there i'm i'm so torn between this scooter man why because you just is it like you just feel like you're not going to be able to get it uh, no it's not even so much like i can't get it it's just it's just the problem is it's like if you put stabilization on it like auto stabilization it drives better but you lose the ability to trick yeah. Oh, I get you, man. And then if you don't put it on, it's like a pain in the butt to drive, but you can do crazy stuff, like crazy spins and stuff. Yeah. I also only woke up at like 3 today, so... <sighs> <laughs> Life's rough, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, I'm at... I, uh, ah. All the people are like, I don't understand. Khan's losing his mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's so frustrating, man. It is so frustrating dealing with this game sometimes. Some, oh, days, I know. some days I wonder, I'm like, why couldn't I have just been a stupid GTA 5 YouTuber? Why did I have to get <laughs> into building creative games? That takes hours. And hours and be all sciencey and technical and it's like I could have just played GTA 5 and just spawned in a world and killed people and made a video and put some clickbaity title on it and Call it a day and live the YouTube life. That's like basically how it all works for them. All right, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do that. But see, this is the thing. Now, without auto stabilization, you've got to be so good at it as a player when you're driving. But like, it's strong enough now to do it. It's just really turning that kills you. Is the turning so that's where you have to like find the solution yeah because the problem is like i want to be able to do a bar spin okay so you know what let's add the obvious controls that are going to be easy first so let's do that let's go add pitch controls for up and down and tail whip controls because those will be easy like tail whip is just put thrusters on the tail and that's it right and pitch control is just put pitch thrusters the problem is the turning because you want to be able to do a full 360 tail whip right so you need to have a, a turning 
handlebars, like think about it, when you're riding a scooter, if you're holding the handlebars, that's like normal steering. You lock it, right? You can only move like 15 degrees in either direction. Yeah. But then if you go super aggressive on your scooter, you can let go of the handlebar and let it spin 360 degrees. Right? Yeah. And so I can do that too. The problem is that... Um, I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> the problem is that I follow you. The, I follow the problem you. is is that when you when we you you need to be able to lock the steering to a certain angle and then unlock the steering to give you unlimited capability. You know what I'm saying? Unlimited power. Unlimited. Oh, oh actually, I think I just solved the solution for that. There you go. That's all you needed. Just was, to, you know, just to talk it out. Do a Kamehameha or Kama, Kamehameha. I don't know how. <laughs> whatever the Dragon Ball Z thing is called. Kamehameha. That's it. Okay, so five, six is going to tail whip. Ethan Warner. What well, up? How it going? Oh, man. I'm, in, I'm enjoying this current build that I'm working on right now. It's oh, a lot yeah? of fun. So uh, my hover fun. destroyer is almost done. Like oh, I have, yeah. I have both cannons mounted. I had to change it up. I couldn't put the double barrel on it anymore because the lag got too bad. But I have yeah. two seats, like a pilot and a co-pilot, whatever you want to call it. You can have two people playing with the ship. Either of them can control either cannon or both cannons at the same time. And like I sat there with both cannons fully loaded, rotated them around, and just unloaded on like targets. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm like this is like you can only have four shots in each cannon because past that the lag becomes ridiculous. Yeah, but it was just but so that's eight in total though. It was right? eight in total, and I was just unloading shots. It was just like dung 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 dung. It was just so cool to watch the thing go. <laughs> it's wicked, man, wicked. I can't wait to show that build. But it needs it needs some more work still. Oh yeah. But it's getting there. It's just it's such a good build. And actually, yeah, I only need pitch controls on the back for the scooter. Whoa, I just hit a bunch of hotkeys I wasn't supposed to hit. <laughs> All right, so pitch up is going to be three. And pitch down will be four. Oh, this is looking cool. cool. What are you talking about? Your stuff? Yeah, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> You're looking at wires right now. The coolest of wires. But it works. I can totally do it now. You got it working, did you? Yeah, I mean, I, totally, I got pitch up and pitch down. So if we go like, uh, what is it, three? Four, four. Okay. This is gonna be so much more difficult to use than the skateboard <laughs> by like a mile. Oh man, it's gonna be so bad. All right, we just gotta do that. Like I gotta need some need some extra tuning capabilities here. We're lacking in some serious. Wait, you get no stability, eh? You know what? Yeah, that's that's really the problem right now. But I mean, I can tail whip. I got all the controls. That's the thing. Like I can tail whip and stuff. Actually, I need. To... Was asking. Give us a hint. What are you talking about, engineering genius? Give you a hint about what? What? Whoa! Your handlebars are spinning like mad. My handlebars are awesome, dude. Are they supposed to spin? Well, yeah, like I, mad. if you, if you, you gotta be able to do the full 360, oh god, I can't even tell what this is connected to anymore. Uh, this is six, right? Six? Yeah, six. And five is this side. The problem is, it's the, it's the handlebar stability, that's where the scooter loses it. So yeah. now, if I go, if I go three and pitch up, and then I go six, see, I can tail whip. But then you fall over. And even if I put, oh, this is this is so frustrating. <laughs> I think I nice did to this. See a challenging I, build. I think I did this whole build wrong, though. I'm like 99% sure I did this whole build wrong. The hint for my what I'm building right now 
is it is for my island tropical island build with you know, the amazing tide generator made by yours truly con gaming but not me truly you truly i actually did screw this whole build up dude what do you mean i'm thinking How? i thought about it wrong from the beginning did you know yeah I actually completely thought about it wrong from the beginning. Think about it like a real scooter. The 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 front handlebar is the point that has to stay stable. Yeah. The entire oh, so body the is thrusters, irrelevant. All the thrusters and stuff. Everything has to be on the front handlebar. The front handlebar has to naturally want to stay balanced. And then everything else after that is irrelevant. I uh, I think you're on to something, Con. I think I am. I just don't know how to fix it. <laughs> oh, that's so much work. Oh, that's exactly. Yeah, that sucks. That is exactly what I need to do, though. I need to. And I need to make the front. You've been streaming for an hour, and now it's time to start over. Let's do it. Yeah, pretty much an hour and a half streaming, and then I need to start over because the front handlebar has to stay balanced. That's what needs to keep itself upright. And then the back can do whatever the heck it wants because at the end of the day, the front is what's going to control itself. The front, and I was thinking about it, because when I pitch up like this, the front should technically still try and keep itself balanced, so when I tail whip, the front stays balanced. Oh my god, that's so bad. Alright, well let's try, let's try something here. Let's try putting some stability on the front here a little bit. Maybe that'll just, maybe I can get away with just putting a little bit of stability on the front. Finally come to the realization of how this has to actually work. Well, that's that's good, right? <laughs> yeah. I should have thought, thought of this maybe maybe two hours ago. But yeah, that's that's exactly the problem, I think. Yeah. And I think if I just change this. Right, and then this one needs to be like what seven? I don't even know. I can't tell. Okay. Stay down. Five. Five? Six? Six is too much. Oh my god. Somebody, JGRC is tallying all the wins and losses of all the multiplayer Mondays. Yeah, I asked I asked somebody like a couple streams ago to do that and tell us who's who's going to win. Yeah, no, I am going to put... I was there. I remember that actually, yeah. I am going to put thrusters on the top of the handlebars now, guys. I, I have clued in. This is the smartest thing to do. Um, actually, the main reason is because, see, these sensors will activate ones at the top so that the handlebars will keep themselves balanced, and then I don't care about anything else. You see, this is this is the problem. You guys were right all along, and I was like, I know what I'm talking about. I'm an engineer. I got a degree. But no, I'm serious. Uh, yeah, I screwed up. You guys that were right. That's exactly like something an engineer would say. Pretty much, yeah. That's like the first course they teach you in engineering is like, all right, how to be a dink. First <laughs> thing we got to do, tell everybody they're wrong all the time. Even if you are wrong yourself. Pretty much. All right, so I think this is going to be the solution now. So I should be able to get away. I'm going to put four thrusters on each side. Actually, I'm just going to put two on each side. Thank you, noob the tube. Start with two on each side like that. Oh, son of a, it's such a pain in the butt to work on stuff. That's like above the ground. <laughs> Especially when you keep falling, because that's what I keep doing right now. That's what I've been doing this whole freaking time. It's ridiculous. Then you gotta put like your seats down and then do like the whole seat jumping thing and then like make the work platform and just yeah. <laughs> All right, just like that. And then we'll just get the slope piece, guys. 
so. Alright guys, we got this. We got this. This is this is gonna be the solution to everything in life. It's gonna be this scooter. This might actually this might actually solve all the problems. Because I'm not really too worried about front and back. I mean, technically speaking, the handlebar needs to be balanced front and back too, but I'm thinking the tire itself is wide enough to prevent itself from. Alright, let's try this. Thanks, Jaden. Hey, RC boss, what's going on? Delete that, and then this sensor, if this sensor activates... And I mean, Riley Goff, it is his 13th birthday. Is that bad luck? Oh, well, happy know. birthday. It would only be bad luck if your 13th birthday was on the 13th of the month. That happened to be a Friday. That's probably the truth. Then you're like a demon child and need to be exercised like as soon as possible. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, that happened to me! Trust him, guys. He's an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> There's nothing we can't do. All right, this this is. I think I'm feeling good now, man. I'm feeling good. Yeah, you got a handle on this build now. I got a. Oh, I see what you did there. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, man. It's actually. This is actually gonna work. The handlebars will keep themselves balanced, which in turn might balance the whole build out. Nice. So now, if I tip forward, it, it doesn't help. Not working. Well, it kind of is. No, the handlebars keep themselves up. Can I make a crawler? Like a rock crawler? Actually, this is actually working now to, to an extent. It just needs to be tuned. Tune it up, bro. Having a real issue with turning right now. That's That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, turning is turning is not good. I need a lock, is what I need. Braden Broad, what's going on? I'm pretty sure I do remember you. Like I need a I need a steering lock so you can like disable the steering lock when you want to do tricks. But if oh, you but if you don't I want to do tricks, then do. it limits you to only like, you know, small range of movement. Yeah. But that actually works. The uh, the sensors on the handlebars there actually seems to work. Needs to be more powerful though. Otherwise, this kind of stuff happens. Can we can we get up here? This is ridiculous. It doesn't even want to get up. All right, let's get rid of this. Yes, official. This will be uploaded to YouTube after as a standalone video. What, the streams? Yeah, yeah always, yeah. always do. For your viewing pleasure or displeasure, I don't know. Probably a little bit of both. <laughs> Needs a little bit more weight, I think, in the back. Help offset the weight of the handlebars a little bit. Yeah, man, it's, it's getting there. That's good. Yeah, okay, I definitely need a steering lock of some kind. So, I'm going to try it in the most obvious way, but I feel like that's not necessarily going to work. But, like, the most obvious way is to do this. You're absolutely right, engineering genius. You're absolutely right, but I don't know why, but I felt compelled to do it in black and white because I couldn't do it with yellow text because I noticed it was blue and yellow text, but it was only going to be white text, so I went with black instead. What are you What are you going off about now? What do you mean my, tech? My kit car. Oh. I made the license plate the wrong color. Oh. Well, for, that's, that's, for, why, that's why nobody... Reason. The problem is I don't think a lot of people knew what what kit is. Um, quite a few people did, really, though. Oh, did they? It's good. Yeah, I was pretty surprised. Okay, let's try this with a steering lock here. Like this is the this is the theory. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. <laughs> So 
Son of a... Seven. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's outside of my steering realm. Hold on. So you still have to get it back in between the lock range. Not enough. It works as a steering lock, though, which is good. We just gotta we just gotta widen it out a little bit. We also don't have brakes. We should probably have brakes on this thing, I would think. Lane hold, what's going on? Two hour drive, that's unfortunate. Unless you like doing road trips. Alright, I'm gonna put a couple thrusters on this thing just to slow it down. If you need to actually we'll just put a single thruster on it to slow it down. That'll be your your brake, quote unquote. Okay, so that's that. So steering lock oh, is unquote. good. And then 45, 45. I don't know. I'm kind of just literally just pulling stuff out of my butt on this one. You got to do what you got to do, man. No, see, it's too close still. Hit that break. Oh, yeah, see, that, that works. It kind of can move you backwards a little bit. So I got the right idea, just the steering lock's too close. It needs to, but it's the exact thing I need to do. I mean, it's still, it won't stop you from screwing up, but it'll at least help when you're just trying to drive normally. And then when you go off a jump, you release the lock, do your trick, and then try and put the lock back. That's a pretty good idea. Thanks, RC. I'm actually, and my, I, I have a, my finished dirt bike and everything ready for Sunday. It's gonna be sweet. So I think this is actually the solution to this. I screwed up. I should have kept these bearings, but anyways. So we just go like this. Whoops. Like that, and like. Actually, we're gonna do this with pipe pieces. I hate how the mods go, like the blocks for mods get all mixed up with the inventory blocks. Like it really just needs to make it so that, you know, the mod blocks get put into like little folders away from each other. Yeah. It just make it, like it would make it so much easier. So I, I really, one of the reasons I just hate using mods is because everything's just a pain. I mean, I only use mods where I absolutely have to, like on this build. All right, let's try this. See if this gives us a little bit more steering range. It should. I'm stuck. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jaden, I am working on some island stuff. All right, here we go. Balancing. So let's lock it. I need a little bit more turning capability on the lock. But it, it's keeping itself balanced now, which is good with the handlebars. When the lock's on, anyways. When the lock's off, like, I mean, you're screwed. Almost. And then it falls over. So it needs more thruster power on the... Uh, on the keeping itself upright stuff. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit less angle on the lock. I'm almost, I think I'm almost done here, guys, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be ending the stream there shortly, because we gotta go do our standard Friday stuff. Yeah. I did start a little bit early today, but that's good. Uh, okay, perfect. So let's lock. Oh yeah, that's that's good. And then yeah, it needs more power on that. Okay, perfect. So let's just crank these guys up. The scooter's running away from me now. Okay, it doesn't need that much power, I guess. Okay, can we can we can we stop? Can we please? Can we just 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 please scrap mechanic? <laughs> Alright, perfect. All right, we got this. What do you want Moombo for there, Jeff Taylor? People in my chat, Moombo, are looking for you. What? Shout out to the flying one. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. 
You should build more dirt bike vids, apparently. I should, well, I mean, I have my finished dirt bikes that I will have a video for on Sunday, but I'm not too sure how many dirt bikes I can make. Did you make multiple dirt bikes? I mean, I, I made, I, I, I have two different types, one that's really good and one that's a piece of junk, so. Okay, why? Let me guess, you I made just, the piece of junk one in the stream and the really good one you made not in the stream? I, I tweaked it after. Yeah. Added a whole bunch of stuff. I am struggling here really hard today. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I know I'm not. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for enjoying <laughs> my pain. All right, here Why we Why we tune in every Friday? Yeah. Let's watch Khan struggle. Last week it was Khan versus his cat. This week <laughs> it's Khan versus the scooter. This is gonna be sweet when it's done. It's just getting it there is, is the, really the pain in the butt. Oh, you'll get there. I know, you and then I'll, after the stream, I'll balance it a ton more, and it'll be way better, but... All right, so I can do a tail spin. I can even lock it on either side. So I missed it there, but I can lock it like this. Make a fidget spinner. Oh, my. Okay, so we've got a flying scooter. Perfect, 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is very difficult to use. Is okay. it? Yeah, it is. Like it's, it's, I'm, I'm not very good at it. I think it might just be a, a operator thing though, to be honest, but I'm not terribly sure. Cause I gave it the full capability to do all the stuff, you know, you want to be able to do on a scooter, but hold on. It's just not working. Okay, well, there we go. It stabilized itself, so that's good. So let's just drive back slowly here. Hold that reverse button. Trapped in some trees here. I think I think we got this, guys. It's too top heavy. Uh, you know what? It might be. The handlebars might be a little heavy. I might have to. I really don't want to change the handlebars, but I might have to. I ran into a tree. We should make a video on the biggest build with Khan. Like we should both build something extremely ridiculously huge together. Is that what you mean? It's just, it comes down to though, how far do you want to go with the lag? Yeah, well, that's pretty much our only limit. That's pretty much the limit. It's we like- We can figure out most things. It's like, you know, how, however big you want to make it, that's fine. But it's just how much lag do you want to tolerate? The bigger you make it, the more the lag's gonna get at you. You know, this is actually, this is actually working decently. I'm, I'm having an issue getting out of the trees here, but. I think I might have given it a little bit too much forward thrust. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just kind of get up in here. Oh, okay, so one and two. This is the problem. I don't know my own controls yet. So yeah. three is pitch down, pitch forward. I'm about to do a wicked front flip, though. Nailed it. You know what? This is actually, this isn't that bad. I think it's just operator. I just kind of yeah. suck at it. Someone's asking, how can we record multiplayer Monday on Friday? <laughs> well, I mean, we can't record it Monday morning at like 5 a.m. Because that would be... Well, we don't, even then it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have enough time to get it all ready. No. That's pretty much it. It takes time to edit, guys. Yeah, it actually takes like, you know, a good solid, it like, can, two to three hours to, to do a video hours, at yeah. least. Two or three hours to edit with some of those bad boys when there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, and usually our multiplayer Monday is like an hour of footage. Yeah, oh my god, sifting through all that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You know what? This is actually... Okay, so it needs a few adjustments, but it's actually... We're getting there. So Good, that's good. This... this that's not... That's not a... Okay. So we need... This needs to come out further because that's... This... Yeah. So I think I think I'm actually pretty good here, guys. I think I'm I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, I mean it needs it needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna try and do some tricks though. But I think okay, so that's the lock. 
and then, then it needs to go up more, right? Yeah, so it needs to go like... It needs to be out more like that. Okay, hold on. I'm just actually going to do this proper here. And then we'll just cover this up like this. And then we need to put this in here. See, it can slip. The problem is the handlebars can still slip out of the lock, and I don't want that. Does it? Yeah, it can, yeah. But I think I think the solution is just adjusting the angle on this a little bit. Down to like 45, and then the block won't be able to fit through. I think we're good. I think we're good here, guys. I think this might be the finished scooter. Is it working? I think so. Seems like nice. it. It's very difficult to control everything. You see, no, it still slips out of the lock there. That's... That's crap. <laughs> Uh-oh. Although there is probably a solution to that too. It likes to sway a lot as well. Which means I just gotta adjust some stuff. But that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a lot of tuning to this build, I think. I think there's the amount of tuning that's gonna be required for this is gonna be ridiculous. But uh, definitely gonna have to do some tuning because it needs like the lock needs some tuning, the um, the stability control needs some tuning for sure. See now it's locked. Okay, that's that's a much better lock. So you can see that works, but I, I do want to change the way that lock looks because it's definitely not doesn't need to be that tall. Okay, so let's see. One and two. One is roll left. Two is roll right. Three is pitch up. Am I good on that one? Three is pitch up. Four is pitch down. Five is tail whip, and six is all right. Let's see if we can do something here. Oh, perfect. Clearly, clearly we did all sorts of good stuff. All right, let's just... Totally calculated, 100%. Yeah, it definitely needs, definitely needs a lot of tuning, that's for sure. All right, then we do that, and then we can do, like, like some wicked... What the? I don't even know what's going on. Bar spin something rather. All right. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works. It it kind of does. It's just gonna be so much more difficult to learn how to do any sort of tricks with it. But like, I mean, you get full capability of the roll of the board plus the roll of the handlebars, um, plus the tail whip of the handlebars. Like, I mean, it'll work. I don't want to use suspension glitches because the thrusters are the thrusters are better. Suspension glitches just cause issues with when you hit stuff and other things, but. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I think, though, I am going to end the stream here because I do got to go and actually eat something before we do some multiplayer Monday recording and all that. Um, but make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try and do another trick here. It definitely needs a ton of adjustment before I make a video on it. So I might I might have to do a video on it uh, a little bit later. But, like, I mean, oh, I just hit the wall there. That was, that was good. That was smooth. It definitely, definitely needs some adjustment. I might have to even make that handlebar out of a lighter material because that it, the handlebar weight is what throws the whole build off. Update my SR71 black build, Blackbird. All right, let's see if we can do this here. No, see, you gotta, you gotta line yourself up straight first. Oh crap. See, it's definitely, it's a good flyer. I mean, it's a good flying scooter. But yeah, that handlebar, I might have to adjust the handlebar weight. But anyways, guys, make sure you hit those buttons down below. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to spend a lot of time tuning this before I figure out 
how to put in a build. Because I want to be able to do tricks on this the same way I can do tricks on the skateboard. Um, but make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And uh, thank you guys again for all coming out to the stream. And uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And I'll see y'all next time. Once I... I gotta figure out so much work for this man. This is, <laughs> this is so much harder.